All right, guys, I'm going to show you how you can do the headshots very easily. As you can see, I've unlocked the diamond camo um, for multiple guns. And to be honest, to get all the headshots um, is actually very, very easy. There's a specific class that I wanted to go over. Um, so first of all, look, the first game mode that you want to play is that you want to go back, go to the main menu, and you want to play the hard... I've got some gameplay here for you so you can see it. Now, you want to play the hardcore face-off mosh pit. Now... There's a couple of reasons for this. Number one, when you hit the head, um, you're going to have the highest chance of killing someone. Basically, it's a one-shot kill. Um, if you go play this in public matchmaking, especially some weapons like the Goblin, it is a pain in the butt to basically go and get a headshot all the time. So basically, this one, everyone's going for headshots. There's basically two maps that you're really going to be playing most of the time. And that's you're probably going to play the Gala or there's the, the kind of one, the House, or there's one in the desert. Either one of them is good. The one in the house is really, really good. I'm going to show you some clips here. Where you can literally just go behind a banister. And you can see with a thermal setup. Which I'll show you in a second. You can basically get that easy headshot. So the benefit with a the thermal. Um, um, so the iron sights. Is that you can literally see. Especially in these game modes. Everything's congested. A lot of people are head glitching. So with the thermal. You can actually see them much easier. And you can see how many kills I'm getting. Honestly. You can actually get a gun done in one hour's time. You can get a gold gun done literally an hour. You sometimes even get 30 kills in the game, depending. Now, in terms of the class, so um, I'm quickly going to show you this now. So this is the class that I have. Um, so what I do is I actually have a smoke. And the reason why I have a smoke, you might have seen for some of the examples, is, is I throw the smoke. That way the opponents can't see me. So they're just shooting randomly. And I've got a thermal so I can see them. There's two reasons why I do this. Number one, my the opponents can't see, but also my team can't see the opponents. So if you want to maximize the amount of kills, especially when you're head glitching in those key areas, like in the bus, like as you've probably seen, or for example, by the kitchen, um, you can just smoke the area, smoke the corridor, and just spam the headshots. The next thing that I do have is a blast trap. Now, I actually throw, you might have seen this before, I actually throw this down, and that way, if someone is rushing in, from behind me, because this is where you're going to get killed most of the time by someone from behind you. Put the blast trap down. It's basically like a C4 in almost every um, uh, area. So it's kind of like um, it's like a proximity detonation. Kind of like a proximity mine, like a bouncing Betty. Works very, very well. You put it on the floor. Um, people are just going to run into it, and you're going to get those easy kills. And for the assault upgrade, um, I just use that to get a to get just better stuff. You can get a trophy if you really, really want to for your assault upgrade, but to be honest, either one is good. Assault, the trophy might be actually a pretty decent idea if you want to put it down to stop the, the stuns and stuff like that and the grenades. Now, the perks. Now, um, you want to go with the recon, the recon specialty. This way, you as soon as you spawn, you can see enemies through the wall. That way, you can get the headshots. I'll talk about what actual attachments to go for in a second. Um, you want to go with cold blood this way. If your opponent wants to do the same thing, and they want to use thermal, you're not going to be shown if you use the cold-blooded perk. So definitely use the cold-blooded perk. And then you also want to use, um, now it's up to you, you can use forward intel or tracker. Um, either one is good, to be honest. Forward intel is the one that I personally like, um, personally speaking, but tracker is also good. But the, also, you know, you're the auto ADSing of the pinging. I don't really want that, but you can do that. You've got thermal anyway. But you can see enemy footsteps nearby. Um, Engineer is okay, but I think it's basically a waste of time. So there's no score streaks in this. And then the first one, you can have two. You can have either UAV, but there's no score streaks. So I recommend going with Ninja. That way, if you're trying to go behind your opponent, you could basically shoot them. Now, for the attachment, this is what's very, very important, okay? You want to unlock the Otero Thermal two times. If you've got an SMG, there's like a PNS Thermal. But for the AR... Dotero Thermal 2. Now, this is the one that you're going to have the best one. Literally, I'm going to show you. You can't really see it in the firing range. But you can see, for example, like here, literally just aim for the head. And it's literally as, 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 literally as simple as that. The muzzle, you can go either one. A compensator is good. Otherwise, if you're trying to be covert, you can go with a suppressor. Now, the long barrel, um, I would say go for um, Damage range, not that good. You want to go for bullet velocity, the gain and twist one, especially in hardcore game mode. Then under barrel. Now, this is an underrated one. People would naturally tend towards go towards a vertical foregrip, but you want to go for the lightweight foregrip. I'll explain to you why, right? So if I go to the vertical uh, foregrip here, right? Now, you can see when you're aiming at the head, 
Do you see how the cursor is just moving? The crosshair, should I say, not cursor. <laughs> crosshair, the crosshair. Now, this is the downside. Like, if you're trying to camp uh, an object, like, for example, like, as you can see in the examples, like, in the bus, you want to be the first one to shoot. Basically, in this game mode, is going to be the first one to shoot wins. But you can see now, when I do it again, you can see re you're reducing the idle sway. That is what's very, very important. You can see, look, it's barely moving. So what you want to effectively do is get out of this. You want to be using a lightweight grip. Everyone keeps saying use the horizontal, but don't forget it's one shot kill anyway. You want to make sure wherever you're aiming, when you pull the trigger, that's where you're aiming. So make sure you do use the aiming idle sway. The, um, I use extended mag because I normally spam it, especially if you're camping something, I just spam it all the way down. Um, but otherwise, a flip mag could be good if you're running and gunning. Stock is not that important because you're most of the time doing a, a one shot unless you're trying to use some running gunning kind of stuff, but I don't even use a stock. Um, the laser now, there I use a target laser is aiming idle sway delay and aiming um, walking steadiness. Now the only downside is that the laser is vid visible when you're ADSing. So if you're going for a covert option and you've got a silencer, don't use. But if you're using in that house game mode where you're going to the kitchen, you're basically ADSing there's a big chance your opponent's going to see your laser, but you're still going to get that one or two kills. So I would only recommend this, to be honest, if you don't mind dying and just getting those kills quickly. If you're really trying to camp it out, don't use that. Now, the fire mods, to be honest, there's two. Okay, rapid fire, you don't need it, basically. Maybe on the goblin, because it can be sometimes difficult to use, but everything else is one shot. With AI, you could just aim down. Now, that is why you ideally want to go to for recoil springs. If you have an AR, like an M4, an AK... You literally just hold your left analog stick down or your mouse down and you're going to keep it. Just aim above the head. Listen, get to the habit. Just trust me. Aim above the head. Not aim at the head. Aim above. It's easier to bring the recoil down. Trust me and counter it. Because most of the time you're going to aim for the neck or the upper chest and you're going to get the kill and it's not going to be. This is how you get 30 headshots per game. I was aiming for the heads in the beginning. I was only getting 10. So you start aiming for above the head. I was starting at like 20, 30 and I was getting gold done literally in under an hour. One thing I would recommend is using the NATO FMJ. Now, the reason why I recommend a full metal jacket is if you use this in combination with the recon, as you can see, the recon specialty, you can see when you spawn where the opponents are. So you can basically use FMJ and basically wall bang your opponent. And that is literally, it's so easy. Honestly, after that, the only gun I literally had difficulty with was basically the goblin. And that was basically it. The rest of them, to be honest, um, you can see these are all my eliminations with normal playing time as well. Um, the only one that took me some time was the Goblin because I kept hitting um, I, the so long to uh, tap fire. But honestly, after that, it's so, so easy. Um, M4 being the easiest and then the GPR and AIMS, then the Model L and then the AK, the Vow and then the Goblin last. Um, but once you're honestly, you can literally, it doesn't matter what gun you use, SMG, whatever, you can literally get gold literally in under an hour. And that's my top tip. Don't forget the thermal. That's the real main benefit. Thank you guys for watching. And of course, catch you next time. Hello.